Hey guys and friends. Happy Chinese New Year guys. It's Jay and Francis with Find You Crazy. We are a family of nine who live full time in our RV with five of our kids as we go around the country to see every national park. In our last couple of videos we've been talking about doing experiences over giving gifts um, for holidays and birthdays and those kind of things. But we're going to continue that today with another amazing experience because today is the start of Chinese, Chinese New, New Year. Year. So in our last couple of videos, we have been talking about doing experiences or rather giving experiences versus gifts for things like Christmas and birthdays. So that's what we've done in the last couple of videos. We took uh, the little kids to a football game. We took the big kids to Orlando for a birthday. But experiences don't just have to revolve around those holidays and giving of gifts. You can do experiences anytime um, and for special times. Uh, and this time it's for the twins. Uh, so for those of you, they don't know, uh, we have two twins, our set of twins, that we adopted indirectly from China. Um, another family adopted them, went to China and got them and came back and put them immediately back up for adoption. And so we didn't get to go to China to get them, but we got them right after they came back. And so they have that heritage. They are full Chinese. Uh, and in our adopted family, we always try to um, give um, service back to the cultures of uh, our children. We have a, a, a mix of those, but the twins are the only ones that are fully another ethnicity and so chinese is obviously what they are and so we try to <clears throat> promote that to give them some of that identity because though they are our children and part of our family that is also part of their heritage and will always be part of who they are and so we want to help um develop that help mm -hmm. them to embrace that and understand some of that and so the best time to do mm -hmm. that is Chinese New Year. Yeah, Chinese New Year is a big celebration. It's one of the biggest celebrations in China where just really all over come together in um, a spring celebration. There are the traditional dragons. Um, there are so many different cultural family traditions that they do. And so we always feel like since our twins have been with us, we have always celebrated um, Chinese New Year. We tried one year our hand at making a full homemade Chinese meal. And that was a lot, <laughs> man. So we have tried lots of different things with just creating traditional meals that we knew that the twins would like um, to uh, ordering out Chinese and being able to go to different restaurants and, and just uh, kind of talk with other people and spend that time together. But all of it really revolves around this just being um, a special time for them, just acknowledging the individuality of each of our children, but also just the special heritage um, that they had before they came to us and their life before that. And so today we're going to be celebrating that with a lot of fun things because we're going to actually put together not only just Chinese New Year, but some other fun things that we know that they would want to do. There is a playground around here that is a special needs playground that we're going to visit. So it really is going to be more you're going to have to come along with us because we have a lot of things um, that we're going to be learning. Um, we're going to be learning about some Chinese phrases. We're going to be learning how to uh, draw some Chinese characters. We're going to be doing crafts. We're going to be watching the um, last year's online uh, Chinese New Year gala that they have on YouTube so that we can see what they were doing last year. We are going to go out to lunch. We are going to an Asian market. We have so much planned today and all of that is just to really make our twins feel special today to really give them a chance to really shine um, and to explore a little bit more of their heritage. So that's the plan. Let's see how much of it we can get done. Come on. <laughs> Okay, so today we're going to be doing some school stuff to learn about the Chinese New Year. So we're going to start with some characters that say Happy New Year in Chinese. Okay, so that means we wish you. Oh, 
All right, so we've shared before about our twins' special needs. Um, so they are both uh, have microcephaly, which means they have small heads and small brains, and so that leads to uh, epilepsy as well as um, learning um, developmental delays, they academic call global delays. Delay. And so, um, so cognitively, even though they're 13, um, they're around five, six, seven, somewhere in that range. Uh, and so they have some special needs that require some special attention sometimes. Uh, and they integrate perfectly into our family. Um, but sometimes when we get to bigger things like playgrounds and different things, sometimes it's harder for them to um, kind of balance their physical size with their mental level. But then there are times when we find places that are just literally custom made for them. So here we're in Myrtle Beach um, for uh, the winter and we found out that just around the corner from us is an amazing playground called Savannah's Playground. And it was built for or built in honor of a young lady here in Myrtle Beach whose name was Savannah. Uh, and she was born with a heart defect, which meant she had to have some surgeries. And unfortunately, there were some complications with that, which led to her having some mental disabilities very similar to uh, the twins, where she was physically um, kind of one age, but mentally another age. Uh, and so they built this playground in honor of her. And it is an unbelievable playground. We've been here for a while. It's called, they call it an enabling playground, which the premise is that it, it enables kids of all different levels to be together. And when you kind of walk through it, it and start to see it, it's pretty impressive. I mean, there's stuff it's that perfect. is like, I mean, our kids are, all of our kids are having yeah. an unbelievable time. And it's but there's levels. absolutely nothing that they're doing that the twins can't be involved in. Everything's got just a slight adaptation to make, you know, a traditional marrier go around something that any kid. It's safe. For it's, them. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's, it's, it's super, beautiful. super neat. Like the designs here are, they're, they're really, really incredible. And it's huge. Yeah. Um, and so our kids are having an unbelievable time, it's a including the day twins. day here today. Yeah. And, you know, it is, it's so wonderful when the twins just, we don't have to worry. We just can let them go and play and explore and just use their bodies, um, but not have to worry all the time about um, kind of the, the different difficulties and the challenges, even physically, that they, deal with at times and so this is wonderful when families can be together and I just love the heart behind it and I love um, the focus behind it and we just are enjoying such a great day just honoring the girls and um, all they are how special they are to us and we're not even halfway done we have so much more new but if you're in this area it doesn't matter if you have children with special needs or not there are children of all different uh, backgrounds and ages and it's kind and, of the mission of this playground is yes, to make it for everybody so, so that there's social interaction yeah. for everybody Everybody, because everyone loves to have friends and to play together and children need that and so to create a place in which all kids no matter what level or stage can play together man what a blessing and just right here um, there's an incredible pond and people are walking and I'm just so thankful we had a beautiful day here today
just finished up at Savannah's Playground and it was phenomenal. Beautiful weather, an incredible experience for all of us. We had such a fun time. We also have an appetite now. So the twins love Panda Express. Now I told you when they first um, were adopted, I tried my hand at making an entire traditional Chinese New Year meal. And though it was delicious, it took me and our family hours. I made my own fortune cookies, which literally ended up with me burning off my fingerprints just about. So from now on, since that first year, now we just go out and we go to Panda Express and everyone loves it and it's delicious. So we just leave that to the professionals. And so we are going to go get some lunch, probably some orange chicken, some noodles and some rice. So come along with us. So after we have had our panda and our fortune cookies, now we are headed to the Asian Mart. So right near where we're staying, there's a small little Asian Mart and it has not only um, some neat groceries and some things that we're going to check out in there, but there's also some bubble tea, which our family is a huge fan of. And they have something called rolled ice cream. So we are going to try that. It's a place called Sweet Ice and the Asian Mart. Um, keeping um, alive the traditions and um, they're celebrating um, our children's ethnicities is super important to us in many, many ways. And one of the other things that we do isn't just what's a year celebrating Chinese New Year, but we've been really specific um, with the twins to make sure that um, the dolls that they have are representative of their Asian culture. So they have Asian Barbie dolls that look just like them that they play with. And um, they also have um, Asian um, kind of like American girl dolls, but uh, my generation, something like that. Um, the one that was the Asian doll before was retired and we were not able to get that for them for Christmas. And so we were able to look online and find another doll company that makes um, little girl dolls that are of all different ethnicities, skin types and colors and races. And so it's really awesome. Um, so we really tried to incorporate that just even into daily life. Um, just talking about even at lunch today, we were talking about the fact that Sky and Joseph are from a Filipino background and Christopher is from Latino and Blackfeet um, Native American and also African American. And so just even at lunch, we just try to make the conversations open and honest and welcoming so that everybody just knows where they've come from, um, what their background story is, um, just how um, God created them in a special and unique way. And so it isn't just one day that we celebrate this. We really try to just incorporate the conversation conversations in our home and um, the atmosphere in our home to be, just be welcoming um, to questions um, and just whatever it is that the kids want to know and a little bit more about their stories and their backgrounds and how God just made them so special. So that is also um, not just a one day thing, but just an ongoing thing um, that we enjoy doing. It just really makes our family and the tapestry of our family unique and different, but also unified and beautiful. And so we're thankful for these special days where we can highlight our differences but also talk about how wonderful it is that God creates families from such different places and spaces and all different kinds of faces. So we're going to go see if we can find some really neat things to shop and to find, but also to get into. Yeah, what you got? Squid. Squid. Ooh, Mr. Squid, it's, dried it's seasoned, squid. dried, shredded squid. You got, is that what you're going to eat? No. You sure? That's what we came here to get. You got to eat some it's Chinese New Year, Scott. You got to eat some squid. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good.
All right, so that is all the Chinese fun we could have in one day here <laughs> in Myrtle Beach. So we found pretty much everything we could do, doing some stuff here at home, finding some stuff out. Um, but, you know, just most importantly, giving an experience to the twins that is, you know, harkening back to the culture that they came from. And so that was what we hoped to do, and that is what we did. And we had lots of fun, even though I couldn't get anybody to try the crispy sardine snacks at the Asian or market. Or squids. But, hey, that's all right. <laughs> So until next time, um, we hope you like this video. Uh, we hope you subscribe so you follow all of our crazy fun. And until next time, guys, go out and have some crazy fun with your crazy family. Bye. See you guys.